Oh, hello there, stranger. Who are you? Don't go to the Blue no? Palace. The Master is on vacation. Don't listen to Dervenin. Don't do it. Okay, I, w I won't do it. I promise. I promise. Our oh, new day is dawning, my friends, and it's time to go back to the chopping block. Axe on my back. I'm ready for another day's hard labor. Cutting some wood. We need the coin. I'm just returning from uh, what is going to be our very own mill that's under construction. It has a lot of work to go, as you saw last episode. And now I'm returning back to Riverwood to start a new day. Wood chopping. And uh, we need the coin. We need the coin to say the very least. But you know what? I'm tired. This work is indeed tiring. And I think Douglas Blackthorn. I think he's deserving of a nice treat at the end of his hard day's work. So I think in this episode, we're going to treat Douglas Blackthorn to... Oh, the lighting just changed drastically there. <laughs> So we're going to treat Douglas Blackthorn to a nice hearty meal and maybe a sip of the good stuff at the Sleeping Giant Inn after today's work. It is very early in the morning. It's, it's about 6am. Actually, let's see. Half 6am. About half 6am. So that's a nice early start. And my friends, there's nothing else to say apart from we're going to be cutting wood. So let's do it. Now, a few people did say that I could change the value uh, of the wood that I sell to the mill. And I do have indeed have a mod on that changes the price. But I like that mod. I like the fact that it is one gold piece a log. It makes it a little bit more challenging. Um, I don't think you should be getting rich quick from wood cutting. Uh, so, and I think one gold per log, especially in a town like Riverwood, where there is labour aplenty, there is woodcutters aplenty, and there's no shortage of lumber and wood, uh, it would make sense. You know, it's a, it's a hard life. It's a hard living. And so I think I'm going to keep that at one gold apiece, at least from Hod, I can check how much the inn does give me for it, how much gold they give me per, per wood at the inn, and I can also see what the vendors, people told me that I should directly sell to vendors as well, like um, at the Riverwood Trader for example, so I might do that, that would be a cool idea, see how much they give me for manually selling, but also another benefit I do get my friends from selling to the inn is I get a free night stay at the inn, and I'll, I'll only do that once. I don't want to abuse that for infinite sleeping at the inn, because I want to sleep in my tent by the stream. And I don't think uh, a woodcutter should really get just like free room and board, or at least free room, just for giving a couple pieces of wood, especially since there's not many rooms at the Sleeping Giant Inn. So for a bit more realism, a bit more immersiveness, I don't think one of the re rooms should be essentially taken up by a permanent woodcutter. So, And also, I, I do want to sleep in my tent anyway, so my, my little riverside... A little streamside campsite that I'm making home for now. So in this episode, I'm not sure if I will do any mill water building of my own personal mill. Uh, I really just want to focus on wood cutting as a labourer for coin in this episode. So it's going to be a lot of this, my friend. Hopefully it's entertaining enough. I will say, huge thanks to the support on the last episode. Again, if you like what you see, feel free to leave a like if you haven't already. But if you're watching episode 2, I'm already sure you have. But the... Uh, the words of support and the very kind words I've received in that episode, that episode one, I didn't realise it was going to be so popular. Uh, it's one of my more popular videos and a lot of people have found the channel due to that. So if you're still sticking around, thank you very much. I really didn't expect the humble woodcutter video to take off so well, and, but it did. There's a lot of other, other like-minded individuals out there who like the cosy life and also like watching cosy videos. And that's what I aim to do on this channel. So... Once again, thank you very much, and uh, hopefully you continue watching. Now, let's get back into woodcutting. Well, I've been cutting wood and the sun is now fully up. The morning is definitely upon us. The riverwood is becoming lively now as everyone's out and about. I was I was cutting wood before the sun was up and before all these citizens here were out and about. Fiendle's here. Another another woodcut is there as well. Uh, is that the jewel crafter? Is he out and about now as well? Everyone's, everyone's up and running. Hod's here as well, who I'm going to sell my wood to in a sec. Everyone's up and running now. Yes, I was here before all you, before the sun was up and before any of you are up. Is this a fellow woodcutter? This is a labourer. Hello. I'm a humble labourer. As long as you stay away from my tent, good sir. 
We'll be okay. I don't care if you're my competition. Did I see you talking to Sven? No, you didn't, guy. We've been over this. We've been over this already. As you can see, I'm over encumbered, so we've got to get to Hod soon. I just want to see the locals. Are you, are you okay there? Are you another labourer? A traveller. Well met, traveller. I work here in this in this quaint village. The sun has fully come up now, and it is beautiful. Look at this. There's a jewel crafter there as well. A more specialised job. Very good. Very good. Very good. Right. Let's go back to Hod. We're going to cut, uh, sell the wood to Hod, and then we're going to get some lunch from the inn, or maybe eat something that we've already got on us to save a bit of money. Cut some more wood, and then hop by the inn for a post-work end-of-shift beverage, and then maybe hit up our tent to get a nice early night, because we are absolutely exhausted. Let me just check my needs quickly saying that. We are very hungry, very thirsty, tired. So yeah, we need to drink a stiff drink, a warm meal, and a cozy bed, if the gods, if the gods will it. Hod, my friend, I have wood to sell, and I'm expecting a meager wage from you today, as per usual. May the gods watch over you. Go, good sir. Honest gold for honest. Work. Honest work indeed. Okay, there we are, 190, 195 for 195. Until next time. We have more wood to cut. I'm wondering if there's a chopping block closer to the inn so we can then uh, walk there quick, quicker. Because there's, there's so many wood chopping blocks in this town. Will there be one around here, do you think? There's a little farm. This must be where the inn get their fresh vegetables for their stews and such. I don't see another wood chopping block. That's okay. We need, we need to drink anyway. Also, we need to focus on getting ourselves a water skin. Now, the River Trader might be selling them. They might be in stock now. If not, we're still going to have to work towards making one. Slash drinking from the river. I'm hoping I won't get sick. Let's first see what we can eat. Lunch is upon us. Oh, we haven't much. We've only got some venison chops. So, we're going to have to eat three of these. Still hungry, yeah. Another one it will be. There we are. Okay, two chops were full. That's a hearty, hearty lunch. Two, two venison chops. Let's chance drinking from stream, hoping our Nord stomach can take it. No longer thirsty. Okay, and we're lucky enough to didn't catch anything from there. Nice. Okay, this is very crisp water, clean water, so hopefully we won't get too sick. I am going to check the Ripple Trader, though, for a possible water skin, so let's jump inside. Take a good look around. I'm oh. sure you'll find what you're oh. looking for. Oh, okay. Not, let me know. You're a traveling merchant. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> I was going to see if he had any water skins. Sir, my sister Camilla. Leave it for sale. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. I'm hoping you've got no no water skin, sadly. Sometimes they stock them, sometimes they don't. It's, it's a bit of a gamble. The store. What it's a okay. Mess. Well, we've eaten, we've drunk, but there we are. The yawn. I'm still a bit tired, although it's far too early to go to bed right now. I just haven't been on top of my sleeping. Much like real life, must be said. So I'm gonna do some more wood chopping, uh, wood cutting, and then I'm going to. Uh, did I see you talking My word. Sven? Okay, I'm on here. I thought I was like Maybe. two no. heads taller than Fiendel there. I, I mean, I am still if I were you. a lot bigger than him. Look at this. Douglas is a big, he's a big lad. It must be said. Look at us next to Fiendel. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. The two, the two woodcutters. Village. Do you know what, Fiendel? I'm sorry, brother, but I'm going to use your wood chopping block because I want to sell this next batch to the inn and it's a lot closer. <laughs> There's beauty here, unmatched in all of My the friend, to be sure. I couldn't agree more. Riverwood is such a pleasant town. I'm sorry I'm taking your wood cutting block here, but I uh, obviously he's stacking the wood anyway, okay. Different jobs right now. He's taking he's carting away the wood that I'm chopping. I am for sure gonna be over and come, but it's not gonna be a fun walk to the inn now. Let's try our hand, shall we? Oh hello there. We're a small village, but we work hard. Oh trust me, I know I know much about hard work. My friend. Indeed I do. That's going to be a nice slow walk back to the inn. <laughs> but the day is pleasant enough that I do not mind. Just look at this. So pleasant. Hey. Oh, there's always someone moaning, isn't there? Good day. Good day indeed. Most people are pleasant here. There's always... Every town's got one. It's okay. Well, I will say, this Riverwood could do with some more guards. A bit more defense would be nice. Maybe I should ask the Jarl if he can send us a few spares. Oh, the forge is nice and stoked. Smoke rising. 
Tanning at hand, bellowing, nice. Oh, the inn's looking very popular. And look at this, look at all the comings and goings of the inn. Of course, it's the hub of the, of the village. Always popular. Travers, of course, will be stopping by. This is the last inn before the kind of wild frontier of Falkreath. And then the next inn's not until Falkreath, is it? I imagine there'd be a lot of wanderers, maybe even mercenaries, adventurers perhaps. There's a few guards here, by the looks of it. Oh, a mercenary archer there is a mercenary. Okay, at least the, uh... At least there's a few mercenaries in the town right now, a few hunters and things. It was a bit safer. You don't feel completely undefended. Now, I have a feeling that the innkeeper is going to also give me one gold. Uh, after that, I'm also doing it for the free room, of course, but after that, I'm going to see about selling to the directly to the shopkeeper to see if that nets me more money, and that might be the way forward. Because I'm sure the river trader needs fire as well. Hello there, Stump. Oh, there. Is that Embry there? Oh, Embry. Okay, I'll get you an ale, good sir. On in. Just stoke the fire. Oh, yes, Just friend. Stoked fire. Sounds delightful. Yeah. A bit of a mysterious we'll stew here. Not quite sure what it is. I, I would I probably help myself to a bowl. Now, oh, that bard. No. Please. I've just I've just had a day's work. I could do without hearing that racket, please. By the gods. Right, my friend, I have firewood for you, good sir. We got rooms and food. Oh wait, is it only is it only the bannered mare that wants firewood? Oh, it might only be the bannered mare. Because that's to be fair, that's the only inn I've sold firewood to. It might even be a Delphine. Oh, You're that visitor been poking around. I'm not a visitor. Well, I'm this kind of an itinerant worker. I'm not, I'm not from here, I know, but... Protectors. I'll become a local soon enough, I'm sure. We drink to our youth. Right, I don't think I can sell my wood to this guy. It must be the bannered man only, then. Cook, lad. That's okay. I guess we'll go mm -hmm. to the Riverwood trader instead. And if I can't sell to him, I'll go back to Hod. <laughs> a long walk, though. I... Be glad to be rid of this bard, though. Hi, the cards. Let me out of here. Not that I hate the bards or the music. It's more I was hoping for some more quiet peacefulness today, especially after a hard day's graft, cutting wood. But the day's pleasant enough. I'm returning to it. After I sell this batch, I might make my way back to the the mill, uh, my mill, and see what else I need to do. I might need to hire those carpenters, and I might have a coin. To hire them now after today's today's labors and then we can get our mill underway as well we'll actually start earning some real coin for ourselves my good sir it is i again douglas i'm here to see if you're interested in some firewood some may call this i really hope i can sell to him firewood hundred uh ah oh. again one apiece it's it's no different i may as well just sell directly to hod i'll sell to him now just to get rid of it Right, well, it's a pleasure in business. I'm definitely going to go back to Hot though. <laughs> so there you go. It's one apiece, it seems, everywhere. That's okay. Let's get out of here. Something? Oh no, what's up to the cabbages? The cabbages have fallen out of the car. That, that, that will not do. Let's put those back in. We cannot have loose cabbages. I really shouldn't be doing this for free, but... Who's knocked these over? Oh, they've all gone under the car. I mean, they're going to be washed anyway, I'm sure. But come on. These are these are beautiful cabbages. Look at the size of these suckers. These are these are fresh from the uh, the farms of Riverwood. Probably from behind the inn, actually. I imagine. No more no more spilt cabbages anywhere. I'm I'm hoping. Right. Let's check our coinage. We are at 453. That's really not a lot. Damn. Yeah, that's not a lot. But I'm going to take this pleasant day to walk back to our mill because I see you talking it's not spell. pouring for once, it's not raining, it's not storming. Maybe. It'll be a nice pleasant walk and I'm going to chop down any any elk or deer that I see for, for meat. I do need to get myself a bow, but again, that's another investment that I can't get afford. Is, is a bow and arrows to go with it. It's just too much money right now, so if I can chance slicing down a deer... I will. I might, I might I might even kill a few wolves to them because I'm not above eating wolf meat. And it kind of deals with some of the wolf population as well, especially on the road. It makes it unsafe for travellers. Although, I'd really hope some travellers on the road would have, would have already dealt with these wolves over there because they've been camping there for a while. And they are just a nuisance. I can't use the road until they're gone. I'm sure 
My axe could make short work of them, though. One of these days, I'm going to do it. Oh, my word. This would be another pl great place to make camp. Do you know what? I won't even make my campsite here. Because it's like the good midpoint between Riverwood and Millwater. So, I'm setting up my tent here by this tree stump. With a nice fire there. That's the perfect place, I think, to make camp. It's outside, so... Outside Riverwood, so I'm not, like, kind of, you know, squatting within the within the, the actual village. And I can walk to and fro Millwater and Riverwood freely. That might be a great place to make camp, actually. I think I might move my tent there. I might be staying overnight at Millwater today anyway. So I do want to get I do want to get a chunk of this work done. Oh, this is going to be Douglas's life for now, going to and fro between Millwater and Riverwood, doing what he can, earning coin just to fund his mill. It's it's, a, it's, a, it's an honest life. It's a hard life, but at least he's working towards a great purpose. That's uh, you know that's a, that's a life worth living, my friends. It's a good purpose. Right then, let's see about hiring the good old carpenters at this ledger here. Guards tower unfurnished carpenters. Two hundred fifty. Oh, quick carpenters. Safe. I need to put gold in the safe, do I? Two fifty gold in the safe. That's so much. That's like half my money. Well, actually, over over half my money. Let's uh, not not a septum more. Let's hire these carpenters, shall we? Crook carpenters. There we are. Carpenters recruited. Now, some tasks are underway, which will allow us to be at Riverwood while while things are done here. Although I might, I'm gonna probably need yet more money to then buy materials for the carpenters, but they should be. In here now. Well, they might take a day before they arrive. I'd imagine we still have to wait for them to travel because they're all they're around Falk Reef area. So there are still things we can do with our own hands, though. For the carpenter's workbench. Bedroom fancy walls, ten clay. Oh, is that up by smithing as well? I need smithing steel. Nah. Bedroom floor. That's ten firewood. I can do that. Firewood. Let's do everything that requires firewood ingot and firewood. I think, do you know what, I think we're, we're going to chop a bunch of firewood and mine a bunch of iron and make ingots and such. And that will get us uh, the raw materials we need because it's so early days for this mill. It's going to take us so long. Oh, well, let's start mining until we can mine no more. We might even be able to pick up a few gems from this. I could, I could possibly cut those gems and sell them for a bit of extra coin. Just in case this is taking too long and we do need like that extra coin. I really do hope those uh, carpenters arrive that I didn't just waste 250 gold on nothing. I am once again over encumbered. I think that's going to be... I'm going to see a lot of that in this series. Just being over encumbered. That should be enough stone to last us a good while, I would imagine. And then we'll do the same with wood cutting. I wish wood cutting was as quick as that. <laughs> I'm going to pop these in the chest and I'm going to see if... It counts as a material, or if I have to have it in my pocket to build stuff with it. So let's put six. Look, look at all that quarried stone. Man, that's a, that's that's fast work. Now we have, we have to have the quarried stone in our pockets. Oh, what a shame. Well, we also have a wood cutting block down here, luckily. So we can also cut a bunch of wood. Yay! Then we'll store that in the chest as well. Do you know what? Today has been a hard day's work. I was going to stay in the dingy basement of the unfinished mill, mill water. But do you know what? I think I actually am going to go back to town for the evening, have a meal at the inn, spend a bit more coin, have an actual nice meal, and then sleep in my tent, and then I'll pack up my tent and move it to that midway point, I think. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to treat myself. I can always earn back the gold wood cutting, of course, the ne uh, tomorrow, so... I think Douglas, he, I think he deserves to have a nice cooked meal and not just eating kind of, you know, charred meats and chops that he's roasted up himself. A more balanced meal. He needs a good night's sleep as well. He's, I've not slept as Douglas for a while. He's just so busy. He's got all these all these projects to do. He's using any hour he has to cut wood and make coin. And it's just, it's all a pittance. It's like, I, I spend it as fast as I earn it. Now this, this really is, this is really becoming too realistic, isn't it? <laughs> You know, part of me is like, oh, I could, I could, you know, find some buried treasure, and that would be all my trouble sorted. But alas, that is not. I'm, I'm going to try and hard stick to the, the more simple life. In a lot of these uh, past series that I've done, I do allow myself to divert. Oh, here, here are the carpenters. 
I do allow myself to divert from the kind of role that I've set a little bit. Uh, like Life as a Miner, there's a lot of adventure going on in Life as a Miner. It was a bit of a different character, so it, it made sense, but this is going to be the hard hard stick to the woodcutting, I think. Oh, I thought they were going to move into the house. I, I was willing to let you guys have a built, have, you know, have a, a house, guys. You have this camp. I mean, I myself camp, so I don't I don't look down. I'm not above it, but need something. Well met, friends. Well met indeed. Yeah. I might see if there's any tasks these guys can do. Evening is coming, so I'm going to journey back to Riverwood once I deposit this wood. This firewood is not for selling. This is for my personal use. For projects on this land. So let's whack this in the chest. 40, 40 firewood. That should keep us nice and fed for the workbench for now. Is there, is there anything we can build? There's so much stuff we can build. Oh, this, this is going to take a, a long time. This is all like minor stuff as well. I want to get like the main structures built first. Let's see if we can put the, the carpenters to task right now. Carpenters, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay. Yeah, we've gone past that. Unlike me, my carpenters are a strict, have a strict schedule and work day. I do not. Of course, I own, the, well, I own all this now technically, so I will not expect them to work outside of their hours. But of course, I'm willing to do that. Oh, so they're an 8 to 5. They were 8 to 5 workers. Okay. I'll have to remember that now. That's that's a new element to this series. Eight to five. I've got to I've got to keep that in mind now. Let's run back to the inn. Got ourselves a nice meal. Right. I will have to remember that. That's why I'm I'm rushing so I can actually sleep at a reasonable time as well, so I can be up. So if I wake up for oh, what's a hunter over there? If I wake up for six, I can run over. I think that's I think that's another reason why I'm setting my tent here. Would be a good idea, so I can by 8 p.m. or 8 a.m. get to get to Millwater and set the carpenters to work. Okay, that's a, that's a good idea. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna move my tent now. That's the final nail on the coffin for the the tent moving. And part of me is like, oh, time to skip to skip my evening meal at the inn and just go straight to sleep and move my tent. But you know, Douglas is he's hankering for a nice meal and, and an ale. It's really the ale he wants. He wants he wants a couple flagons, a couple pints after work. I'm not gonna deny him that. We won't indulge too much, as we do not want to be hungover, or we don't even want to get drunk. Being getting drunk is a thing we can do with these mods, but I don't, I don't want to do that. It's it's quite rough. It's rough going. I'll be stumbling my way back to my tent. Right, well we've arrived for the evening now. The evening is upon us, so I'm going to imagine the inn's going to be packed right now. It normally is bustling. Oh no, it's not. It might be a bit later. Normally by the evenings with my populated mods, kind of the inn, Embry's already drunk, the inn does get very popular in the evenings, but it might be a bit later because it's still only, so yeah, set just gone 7, 20 past 7. So yeah, come, let's get our meal out of the way. Need a room. Talk to I don't want to be here while the drunkards are all bustling around. My good sir, what have you got for sale? Let's see that appetite. Hmm? My friend indeed, my friend indeed. You've got, I've got, I've got a steak, I might eat my steak and eat something else with it, like a sweet something. Oh, you haven't got any sweet, oh, you did an apple pie. Oh, that's so much money. That's so much money. Potato soup, I think, might be what I get. It decreases thirst. Let's get ourselves a potato soup. And the main, the main stale is, is the ale as well. Let's get ourselves an ale. An ale and a soup. That's, oh, that's, a, that's, that's a rough meal. We're not gonna, let's find ourselves a table, shall we? Let's, uh, do you know I kind of feel like sick in a dark corner, I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna sit here Need for a something? sec. I'm gonna see about getting uh, out before the bard starts playing too much. Oh, there once was oh he's just started. No, I can't do this. No, not at the end of the shift. Embry's enjoying it at the very least. Let's just eat our meal and get out of here, I think. Potato soup, please. That's no longer thirsty. Kind of a bit more. I don't want to eat a whole. I don't want to eat a whole uh, steak, so I think I'm going to be okay with that for now. Well, I think what's left now is to drink our ale. Let's do it. A nice ale. Empty bottles so we can fill up water. Go on, I'm not enjoying this evening meal. I'm, I'm feeling... D Douglas is feeling dejected. He's feeling down. He's just not earning enough money. And the hooded woman... You've ruined my peace. You had to sit here. Look at the empty tables. Look at the empty tables, and you chose to sit here. Look at look at Douglas. He's just not having any of it. He's just not having any of it. 
I can't believe she chose to sit here. No, I, I, I can't abide this. This is untenable. This is not... And now she get Look at... Get away from me. I'm out of here. I, I, I don't want to be a downer and ruin the mood. So I'm going to... I'm going to kind of distance myself and part ways. No, that, 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 that was not the... <laughs> That was not the cozy post shift Neo that I wanted. Damn. Do you know what? I think Douglas, I think he just prefers, you know, his own company. He prefers sleeping under the stars. He prefers cutting cutting wood alone. Small walks through the forest. I don't think that inn is really the place for him. We spent a decent chunk of coin there as well. It's it's we really can't afford it. Doug Douglas is he's very poor right right now. He has land. He 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 might seem to be rich in assets, but much like the other guy who died before he could sign the deed. You know, it's, it's slowly killing him. It is. He's up all night. He's exhausted. What is that going on? What is going on? I, I need to help the people. Douglas has come. The woodcutter is coming. My word, there's explosions going on. Things are exploding. Who is this? All right, I'm, I'm, I'm actually sneaking up behind here. They're killing the citizens. An ice wizard. Who is this? Oh, this, they're on our side. They, they, experience Adventure is dead. Who are they killing? Adventurer Warrior? Why did this person kill the adventuring party? They're not hostile to the town. Was this a fight amongst themselves? Need something? Okay, so a, t a taste of the more wild side of Skyrim has reached your wood now. I'm not going to kill this band Ice Wizards because they are, they are actually not hostile. If you remember Band Fire Wizard, he was, he was a good friend and personal guard to the Rat King. Yes, it's yes, not um. These aren't bad people, as far as I'm aware. They're not attacking civilians. They've they've killed these adventurers, though, and also the adventurers are not hostile either. A dilemma. Okay, this is a big moment for Douglas. Does he do it, friends? He's had a rough day of work. He's exhausted. He's spent all his coin. He has nothing. That's just doubling his money. That's just doubling everything he's made today alone. And all he has to do is take it, take it from their dead coin pouch. But it is robbing the dead. Once we, once we do this, there's no going back. There's no going back. You are hungry already, and I haven't the coin. I have 170 coin. Do you know what? A decision has been made. I hope this doesn't taint Douglas, and I hope this doesn't mean I start doing more things. All I'll take is the coin. I'll, I'll, I won't take the skooma. I will not take the potions, or even the clothes. There's food as well. Like Douglas could eat this. This is gonna go all go to waste. Like all that's gonna happen is the Yarl's guards are gonna come and take this coin. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna enter the Yarl's treasury. Oh my word! There's a wolf here. I've got nothing. Do we, do we let the guards? Do we let the Yarl scoop this up, or, or you know, someone else in the town to take it? I, I think, I think we should take this, my friends. I think we should take this. That's two thirty-five. Do you know what? I've taken it. I will promise to one day pay this back in some way. I don't know what, how, but once I have the coin, I will give this back. And there's, there's going to be more coin from these guys as well. There's a bow and arrow as well. I, I can get everything I need from this guy. Look! Look at this. I think that's a. I think that's a bit too much. I don't think I can take all this stuff. This stuff will actually set me up for life. Well, not not for life, but another two hundred. That's like so much work. Four eleven. Do I take this? It's not every day that an adventuring party gets slain before you, though. Like, I'm not going to kill them. I think we do this. We're going to funnel this straight. We're going to funnel this straight into the mail anyway. This will be a cash injection that we sorely need. I'll take nothing else, not even their bow and arrows. I want it so bad, but I will not take it. Okay, well, that's a decision that was made, and it's been done now. No one saw it either. I just I just wasn't willing to let that coin go to waste. And <laughs> I can't believe no one cares. I mean, that... that, that uh, Band to Ice Wizard, that band of Ice Mage has shown true power. They, they took out a whole adventuring party. Damn it, man. We just, robbed, we just robbed from them. We just robbed from the dead. What have we done? Okay, we, we just need a good night's sleep, I think. I'm sure we'll feel about, better about it when this coin kind of nets us the life that we deserve and that we need. Let's sleep. Let's get eight hours, shall we? Do you know what? I think we're going to need a bit longer than that. We haven't slept for like two days. Right, it's about 8 a.m. now, so we can hire, start hiring the carpenters. So I'm going to pack up this tent, actually. And I'm going to pack up my cooking pot. And I'm going to destroy the old fireplace. No unspent fuel, that's okay, we knew that. 
And a pleasant enough day, I'm sure the bodies will soon be cleared. And those bow and arrows will be added to the guard's armory and they'll be taking all the potions. Well, I can take the coin. I'm not I don't think I could justify kind of pillaging so much. Like, Douglas cutting the coin pouches and taking them could go unseen, but him loading up on a bunch of adventuring gear and potions and stuff would, would it would go noticed. People would be like, okay, this guy's robbing the dead. That's this is not a good person. Skyrim is a morally grey land. It's not it's it's not black and white up in up in this piece. Alright, where did we say that campsite was gonna be? I think it was up here somewhere. We will lay down. Lay down the law. Here it is. That's a very nice spot. Look at that. We're also close to this uh, this, this old woman. Maybe we can have some dealings with her at some point. I hope she doesn't mind us setting up so close to her shack, but this isn't her land. She's welcome, of course, to the uh, the shack that she has. We will get some natural um, defense as well from the elements in this log, which is very nice. Actually, I think that's a good place to put it. Hopefully it's not clipping into the log. Let's see when it pops up. Uh, no, it's not actually. It's fine. Perfectly fine. Very nice. Very good placement. And then when we need to, we can set up a fire here. We've got a very pleasant view indeed. And we're very close to both Riverwood and Millwater. Speaking of Millwater, I think we head there now to see if we can get the carpenters up to work. We're getting into their work shift now. And so far, we've given them 250 coin, but they're doing no work. So let's put, a, let's put a fix to that, shall we? Let's also check our needs, because we are very hungry, thirsty, and slightly tired, because we've slept we slept for like 11 hours, so we're starving, we need, we need breakfast. We've not eaten. We also need to hunt some game, and getting that bow would have already helped with that, but like, I, like I've said before, that would go too noticed. I guess we could always catch some fish. Right. My carpenter friends, I think I'm gonna have to give them coins as well to get materials. Carpenters? Carpenter tasks. Ah, oh, so we can set them, but it costs coin. That's a lot of coin. We're going to see what we can do with our hands first. I don't want to... Like, 75 septums for these tasks is too much. I thought we needed to hire the carpenters for tasks we couldn't do. But it seems like they can currently build anything we can for coin. So for now, I think these guys are going to stay here until they're needed for stuff we, we can't do ourselves. So that's cool. And you know what? By their campsite, I think I might end this yes. episode here myself. It's been a rough day. We have a decent amount of coin at the end of it, but not by honest means. Not by honest means. If if last episode was an introduction to an honest woodcutter, I think uh, I think today's episode is brought into question a little bit. So I'm interested for you to let me know what you think of what just transpired in this episode in the comments below. I'm eager to hear your thoughts on what has transpired because it's, it's a bit of a dilemma and I'm interested in your thoughts because I, I certainly feel a certain way and I'm sure Douglas does as well so that'll be very very good to know I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as the last one my friends if you do want to see more indeed let me know in the comments below again if you haven't yet feel free to like and if you want to see more and you haven't yet feel free to subscribe your viewership is always appreciated and I'll see you in the next video goodbye for now.